So I thought, what if you're walking across the Arctic? Uh, you came to one of these whiteouts. You walked into one side of the snowdrift, and unbeknownst to you, a polar bear walked into the other side. And you see each other when you're about five or ten feet away. Well, it's not a welcome sight for either of you. <laughs> well, maybe it's a welcome sight for the polar bear because either the polar bear turns and runs the other way or your lunch. So I had this nice shot with nice light on it of a polar bear just looking at you in bright, strong sunlight, not all misted out, just in a zoo. And then I just, I went around and photographed a bunch of snowdrifts at the time. And of course the snowdrift has a lot more power to it because I went way darker. This incidentally, unlike most of my art through those years is painted in oils. And so uh, with the oils, I kept giving it thin, thin washes. And I, the, the phrase I use when I'm giving workshops is, is killing, killing it. I kill, kill the, the tones. And frequently when I'm working, I, um, I kill the whole thing. Um, and so it's finished. It has a sense of mystery. There's almost nothing to it a bit of a vaguely seen polar bear face and a bit of a crummy little nothing drift. And it's one of my most charismatic paintings. And it wasn't necessarily easy to do, especially to show the drifting coming across.